We're going to begin this morning with the third day of the historic second impeachment of Donald Trump. After at least eight riveting hours of opening arguments yesterday, House impeachment managers introduced chilling new video. Democrats say Mr. Trump incited the mob to storm the U.S. Capitol, watching as it got completely out of hand and doing nothing to stop it. So Deborah Alfaron is uh, on Capitol Hill for us now. Uh, Deborah, the footage shows just how dangerous the situation was. Uh, you know, some of this footage we have already seen, but what the lawmakers also did was show us exactly where the mob was and where the lawmaker was, particularly the vice president. And what you come to realize is that the mob, they were dangerously close to lawmakers, dangerously close. And Amory, that's exactly what they wanted to show. They wanted to show that they were dangerously close. This mob came here wearing Trump shirts and waving flags with the name Trump on them, specifically to hunt down lawmakers on both sides of the aisle. And that really, the video shows that anyone could have been hurt or killed. House impeachment managers unveiled never before seen security footage of the Capitol riot in the trial of former President Trump. On January 6th, President Trump left everyone in this Capitol for dead. In one video, Vice President Mike Pence is seen being rushed to safety as the crowd outside chanted for his death. This cell phone video taken by a rioter shows them looking for House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Oh, Nancy! Her staff barricaded themselves in a conference room not long before rioters tried and failed to get in. And so they came, draped in Trump's flag and used our flag, the American flag, to batter and to bludgeon. The Democratic prosecutors say Mr. Trump was not an innocent bystander. And if you don't fight like hell. And that he did nothing to stop the attack, which happened as lawmakers were certifying the 2020 election. They believed that they were doing this for him. House impeachment managers will finish their argument today. Then on Friday, Mr. Trump's lawyers have two days to make their case. The evidence that has been presented thus far is pretty damning. Some Republicans, like Alaska's Lisa Murkowski, say it's tough to see everything laid out. We lived it once, and that was awful. One Capitol Police officer died, and more than 100 were injured that day. Prosecutors need 17 GOP votes to convict. Some Republican senators said, you know, the rioters are the ones who are responsible, not Mr. Trump. Emory. Yeah, and of course, that's the sort of core argument. Listen, before we let you go, I got a couple of questions for you. At the end of the day, just when we figured everything was wrapping up, Republican Senator Mike Lee got up and he was upset about a portion of the argument that included something that it is alleged that he said. Can you tell us about why Senator Lee was so upset? Yeah, sure, Amory. So Lee was upset and he wanted something stricken from the record. And this goes back to January 6th. So let me take you back to that day. January 6th, lawmakers are there. They're trying to certify these election results. His phone rings. It's President Trump on the phone. He's saying, hi, uh, and it's not for him. And he's like, well, who is this? And he tells him it's Senator Mike Lee. And he's like, oh, I'm looking for Senator uh, Tommy Tuberville. He hands him the phone, they talk, and that's when everything kind of goes down and they start, uh, the, the rioters are there because they are now being evacuated. So he gets his phone back and later on he tells um, a local site, a local news site about this. Now what happened was yesterday it was brought up from that specific local news site that you know he was saying that the phone call came in in the middle of certifying these election results and they were saying that, that is evidence that Mr. Trump was trying to sway what was going on there. So this all back and forth happened and at the end basically a house impeachment manager said you know this is really not that important we're going to let this go for now. So but it, it was interesting and it did definitely uh, cause ruffle some feathers.